at the World Bank and IMF meetings. The president of the World Bank told me that the potential for escalation, or indeed that which has been seen so far, can have very damaging effects on economic development for those countries in the region. It looks like economic challenges are more in control, not that we don't have problems with lower middle income and lower income countries and their growth rates, but on the whole, the world economy seems to have calmed down compared to a couple of years ago, but the geopolitics of the world seem to have heated up compared to a couple of years ago, and that's one example. So I worry about that because it, you know, wars, conflicts, geopolitical tensions make development that much harder, much harder, much more expensive, much more difficult and the lowest income countries get impacted the most. And if you take, for example, the, sp the horrible phrase, spillover, yeah. effects yeah. of geopolitical, particularly what we're seeing in the Middle East, yeah. that's going to hit your members and your development programs very hard if it, doesn't, if it isn't contained. Richard, it absolutely can. Remember when Ukraine happened, the impact of Ukraine's food inflation was not just felt by the European countries, but by countries much further away who were the ones who could least afford it. It's the same with this one. If oil prices skyrocket because of a escalation, yes, that's a challenge. On the other hand, if it stays calm and it stays relatively confined, then this is not as bad as it could be.